So the question I ask is, can men get through the firmament of heaven? Can men break out of this world into the heavenly realm? What does it sound like when something breaks through the firmament? Anything that's ever broken through the firmament is going real fast. So fast that it happens and we can see a meteor or whatever come in with our eyes and it's like a light streak. And then it takes some time for the sound of it to get down to the ground because sound only travels so fast. Hast thou with him spread out the sky which is strong and as a molten looking glass? Since December of 2015, there's been a machine that men have built that appears to do the same thing as a meteor does. The sound comes after, like this. Yeah, there they are. Coming in like meteors, real, real fast. They're going to do a final burn here in just a moment. There's final burn one and two. Two candles coming down. There they are. Sonic. Double sonic booms. Beautiful landing. And I see two standing. Perfect. Sonic booms. There are the twin Sonic booms. Landing like that before you.
Second Baruch, chapters 36 through 40. And when I had seen these things, I fell asleep there, and I saw a vision in the night, and lo, a forest of trees planted on the plain, and lofty and rugged rocky mountains surrounded it, and that forest occupied much space, and lo, over against it arose a vine, and from under it there went forth a fountain peacefully. Now that fountain came to the forest and was stirred into great waves, and those waves submerged that forest, and suddenly they rooted out the greater part of that forest and overthrew all the mountains which were round about it. And the height of the forest began to be made low, and the top of the mountains was made low, and the fountain prevailed greatly, so that it left nothing of that great forest save one cedar only. Also, when it had cast it down, and had destroyed and rooted out the greater part of that forest, so that nothing was left of it, nor could its place be recognized, then that vine began to come with the fountain in peace and great tranquility, and it came to a place which was not far from that cedar, and they brought the cedar which had been cast down to it. And I beheld, and lo, that vine opened its mouth, and spoke, and said to that cedar, Art you not that cedar which was left of the forest of wickedness, and by whose means wickedness persisted, and was wrought all those years, and goodness never? And you kept conquering that which was not yours, and to that which was your you did never show compassion. And you did keep extending your power over those who were far from you, and those who drew near you. You did hold fast in the toils of your wickedness, and you did uplift thyself always as one that could not be rooted out. But now your time has sped and your hour is come. Do you also therefore depart, O cedar, after the forest which departed before you, and become dust with it, and let your ashes be mingled together, and now recline in anguish and rest in torment till your last time come, in which you will come again and be tormented still more? And after these things I saw that cedar burning, and the vine growing itself and all around the plain full of unfading flowers, and I indeed awoke and arose. And I prayed and said, O Lord, my Lord, do you always enlighten those who are led by understanding? Your law is life, and your wisdom is right guidance. Make known to me, therefore, the interpretation of the, this vision. For you know that my soul hath always walked in your law, and from my earliest days I departed not from your wisdom. And he answered and said unto me, Baruch, this is the interpretation of the vision which you have seen. As you have seen the great forest which lofty and rugged mountains surrounded, this is the word, Behold, the days come, and this kingdom will be destroyed which once destroyed Zion and it will be subjected to that which comes after it. Moreover, that also again after a time will be destroyed, and another, a third will arise, and that will also, also will have dominion for its time, and will be destroyed. And after these things a fourth kingdom will arise, whose power will be harsh and evil, far beyond those which were before it, and it will rule many times as the forests on the plain, and it will hold fast for times, and will exalt itself more than the cedars of Lebanon. And by it the truth will be hidden, and all those who are polluted with iniquity will flee to it, as evil beasts flee and creep into the forest. And it will come to pass when the time of its consummation that it should fall has approached. Then the principate of my Messiah will be revealed. 
which is like the fountain and the vine. And when it is revealed, it will root out the multitude of its host. And as touching that which you have seen, the lofty cedar which was left of that forest, and the fact that the vine spoke those words with it which you did hear, this is the word. The last leader of that time will be left alive when the multitude of his hosts will be put to the sword, and he will be bound, and they will take him up to Mount Zion, and my Messiah will convict him of all his impieties, and will gather and set before him all the works of his hosts, and afterwards he will put him to death, and protect the rest of my people which shall be found in the place which I have chosen. And his principate will stand forever, until the world of corruption is at an end, and until the times aforesaid are fulfilled. This is your vision, and this is its interpretation. And in those days the angels shall return, and hurl themselves to the east upon the Parthians and Medes. They shall stir up the kings, so that a spirit of unrest shall come upon them, and they shall rouse them from their thrones, that they may break forth as lions from their lairs, and as hungry wolves among their flocks. And they shall go up and tread underfoot the land of his elect ones. And it came to pass after this that I saw another host of wagons and men riding thereon and coming on the winds from the east and from the west to the south. And the noise of their wagons was heard. And when this turmoil took place, the holy ones from heaven remarked it and the pillars of the earth were moved from their place. That's ridiculous. <laughs> and the sound thereof was heard from one end of heaven to the other in one day. Double sonic booms. I saw the treasuries of all the winds. I saw how he had furnished with them the whole creation and the firm foundations of the earth. And I saw the cornerstone of the earth. I saw the four winds which bear the earth and the firmament of the heaven. And I saw how the winds stretch out the vaults of heaven and have their station between heaven and earth. These are the pillars of the heaven. And I saw the winds of heaven which turn and bring the circumference of the sun and all the stars to their setting. I saw the winds on the earth carrying the clouds. I saw the path of the angels. I saw at the end of the earth the firmament of the heaven above. <laughs> 